Hello again guys, so today we're going to talk about the Disney marketing strategy and especially how Disney became the entertainment king. So, uh, Disney considered an icon of American brands uh, with movies, theme parks, television, radio, not to mention the product uh, adored by children and adults across the whole world. Uh, they have in, uh, invented family entertainment since the release of the uh, Steamboat Wild. It's impossible to scale to the Walt Disney company size and scope without uh, a powerful marketing genius. Disney has uh, dominated the marketplace for years by continuing adopting its marketing strategy and quite frankly it's a really clever one. So I'm going to, uh, uh, going to show you some of the famous Disney marketing secrets to make uh, the company successful and uh, precious in such a long time. So let's start with the Disney marketing mix, the four piece uh, analysis, uh, so that you can completely understand what I'm talking about here. The Disney company's marketing mix, the four P's, is a deciding factor of the company's competitive performance in different industries. The marketing mix is the combination of strategies and tactics used to access the company's target market, product price, place and promotion. Those are the four P's. Uh, an efficient marketing mix will boost the corporation's competitive uh, against other businesses such as Comcast, Time Warner, uh, Viacom and Sony. Uh, the marketing mix is gen uh, generally employed uh, in the worldwide operations of Disney and its subdinaries like Marvel Studios, Pixar Animation Studios. The uh, general four-piece ap uh, application is created according to the enterprise synergetic uh, codependence and its uh, divisions that belong to the Walt Disney Company corporate structures. Hence, the organization marketing mix is created based on the different needs of uh, its various operations in the park of and resorts, entertainment, mass media, consum consumer products and retail businesses. So, what's the product mix? Disney products are sketched and grouped produce, uh, producing the product mix as a whole. As an international corporation, Disney uh, company owns a wide range of uh, products lines in addition to its media and entertainment products. The strategic uh, acquisition of other business is an important factor uh, in uh, this uh, diversity of the company's uh, product mix. Disney now handles uh, handle such various products under the categor categorization of four different categories median networks that include uh, cable television program radio, uh, radio programs studio entertainment that's uh, uh, direct to video content motion picture musical recordings and stage plays parks and resorts like Walt Disney World Resort Disneyland in Paris theme hotels and other stuff like that and consumer goods and interactive media, so books, comics, uh, uh, magazines, video games, merchandise, and online video content. Disney products uh, were earlier available in the media and the entertainment industry and only. Uh, nevertheless, the company has included products into the parks and resorts industry via expansion and diversification of the retail industry via the scale of consumer products and its amusement parks, stores and other places. The part of Disney marketing means is anticipating to keep growing uh, alongside strategically reinvest uh, re in the business operations and, stand to international and extend to international markets. For instance, the corporation future acquisition of uh, other companies could bring in more products and fresh product lines like uh, the recently uh, bought Marvel. Uh, that way, the part of the marketing mix dem uh, uh, demonstrates the, disagree, uh, the degree of uh, Disney's business diversification, and that's the clever part. So, uh, price and uh, the, the second piece, uh, prices and price strategy. Let's talk about that. When it comes to Disney, different uh, Disney different industries and markets, this element of the marketing mix includes pricing strategies and corresponding price points and price ranges that are separately uh, defined according to the industry and marketing conditions. For example, different uh, difference in development, saturation, risk, business chances and any other uh, uh, managerial concerns results in multiple pricing strategy in the media and entertainment. 
so like parks and resort, consumer promotions and retail marketing. Disney follows the pricing strategies below for its uh, various product mixes. So there's two main uh, categories in that marketing oriented price strategy and value based price strategy. This is the market oriented uh, price uh, strategy for products like movies, which are based and pop, uh, on a popular and, uh, industry standards. Meanwhile, the value based pricing strategy is applied for a different products such as memorable at the company's park and results. Value based, price, value based prices are defined based on the actual or perceived value of the Disney's product, products that have the target audience. With this pricing strategy, the multinational billion uh, business can uh, optimize its prices provided that it retains a robust brand image and powerful marketing campaigns. The strategies in, the, uh, in this part of the marketing mix probably skyrocket profit margins and I bet they do, particularly in situations where the company's products have weak sub, uh, subtitles. So the next one will be the place, the distribution in Disney's four P's. This marketing element describes the places that the company uh, used to strategically allocate its good to the consumers in the entertainment and mass media consumer products and retail and packs and resorts. The, es the essence of these industries and marketing uh, defines the place of venture that Disney chose to allocate its products. For instance, uh, the psychical nature of the marketing products like books and uh, magazines show that the company needs channels that enable the transport and storage of those pro products to target an audience in the, in the global market. The product distribution of Disney includes places like below, movie theaters, Disney stores like Disney galleries, Disney babies and others, mobile apps because the, 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 the today's generation are always on the phones, official websites go to touch, uh, go to dot com and others license and other parties cable satellites telecommunication service providers and much more the places uh, disney choose to allocate its uh, products are range satisfying and diversion uh, diversion in the product product mix the part of the marketing mix is highly based uh, on types of product provided for instance the movie the movies are allocated via movie theaters and multinational digital content distribution firms like apple significantly increase uh, and other parties are the groups of places and channels responsible for creating the larger portion of disney's revenue like espn television program revenue through their all cable networks the system includes third party and company owned venues like theme parks and resorts that makes the marketing miss a strategic colorization of business for efficiently handling uh, maximum reach of the worldwide market. The, the last part was the promotion of the, uh, in the marketing mix. So, this element of the marketing mix involves the company's communication strategies and tactics for the uh, target audience. Disney Pros uh, employs uh, various strategies depending on the type of the product being promoted. Nevertheless, uh, advertising in the most uh, outstanding and uh, readily obsessed among these strategies, like the case of the Marvel movie advertisement. The business takes control of the operation effectiveness in approaching multinational audience via a combination of international, local and regional improvisations of marketing communications. The marketing mix uh, includes some uh, strategies and tactics like like uh, this uh, like this one advertising direct selling sponsorships sales programs public declarations they're heavily uh, betting on advertising uh, and to, the to be honest advertising is a traditional way of, uh, way, uh, way of strateg uh, strategic and uh, significant contribution to different marketing communication effectiveness and uh, to explain it better, here is an example. The company le leverages advertising for its movies in the, their parks, in their cinemas, in their resort. Uh, and uh, they, were, they are team-based uh, for special occasions and events. Uh, the, next, the, the, the next one, the second, the second one in our list is the direct selling. So direct selling method involves direct communication with other companies for different opportunities that Disney pro uh, can provide such as brand exposure in Pixar movies or in Marvel movies or in Disneyland parks and resorts. 
Moreover, sponsorships also belong to this marketing mix, referring to the company sponsors, sponsoring of different activities and events and shows, such as uh, community development programs or uh, some non-profit organization. These types of uh, sponsorship markets the company's business and helps handle stakeholders' expectation. Disney also utilizes sales promotion, which can be, uh, be uh, which can be seen in Disney's outlet stores and package deals. Plus, public relation efforts are also to mention a robust image of the company's brand. This one is one of the most crucial in international markets and brings really good profits. The part of the marketing mix shows a popular approach that avails of the corporations appealing products deep pockets and network for business partners so that was for the four piece a brief introduction about the disney's marketing so now disney's four main marketing strategies and this quite, uh, this one is quite interesting uh, the first thing uh, to talk about will be the Disney's uh, Disney's uh, amazing and uh, te uh, at telling stories that resonates and inspires with its audience. Uh, Disney uh, constitutes one of the most excellent storytellers. Let's take this site out. Let's uh, uh, out as an example the the movie. The movie uh, conveys a meaning of lessons and uh, realizing an embrosive really gonna sorry really impressive one's emotions that that word really uh, it's really hard for me to pronounce i don't know why the company created a co uh, collection of memes relevant to the existing events and seasons the market the film to the film these funny memes uh seems to be funny and happy at first sight yet they are very programmatic they build a difference and brand touch points that uh, it's not on all commercials. You can see that in all commercials. How can you play? Uh, but how can you apply that strategy? Uh, what is the story? Let me uh, let me just uh, quickly ask, ask you some questions so you can understand this, uh, that brand strategy. What is the story of your company? What lesson can you teach your customers through your brand image? If you find that out, you can create stories that influence people and younger generation like Disney do. And believe me when I say you can. The second thing we are going to talk about is uh, Disney's uh, built, uh, Disney, uh, Disney built their world, uh, their theme parks. I'm not sure that that, that was the, uh, quite the, um, uh, that was quite the uh, thing that Disney was hoping for, uh, for because uh, those theme parks nearly uh, make Disney go bankrupt because they didn't operate on the level that Disney stakeholders require. So uh, when you when you build those kinds of venue, venues for your business, you should be really really uh, smart about them and uh, to project your investment because. If you if you read all the news, the of the late, the late news about this, you're going to realize that uh, it was not a good uh, money making decision for Disney. But anyways, almost all kinds will uh, feel excited about going to the Disney and Walt Disney World. The places can be considered scared destinations for children across the world, and uh, that is thanks to the interesting experience Disney can bring to the table and its viewers. Disneyland in Paris and Walt Disney World are experiencing changes continuously all year round, adding new themes, events, and other preventing trends of temporary time. This strategy triggers a special experience for returning visitors since there's always something new for everyone and anyone to enjoy. Uh, to enjoy. Uh, one example I can uh, think of right now is the Frozen theme aims at uh, children and adults who love uh, Elsa uh, and this team is used until its frozen hype disappears. Uh, then a new team for other trends will be applied soon. So when you try to uh, come up with the ideas, when you have the momentum, just go for it and um, absorb everything you can because everything has a deadline and uh, especially for the for the frozen team uh, that uh, Disney 
uh, made uh, was really clever and they applied to the maximum and I think that that one save uh, save the Disney the all the venues and the Disney uh, the Disney project about, uh, with the money that uh, was came into. Uh, so the next thing will be uh, Disney employs the feeling of nostalgia to reinforce customers' reality. This one is crucial to be honest. Disney has generated an emotional impression of the lives of millions of people since its first launch in 1923. Disney had capitalized on the uh, use of nostalgia by reviving old classics like the Jungle Book that drove nearly 900 million. Uh, when it's published back in the 2016. Uh, exploding old classic stories with modern technology is the key that allows Disney to implement nostalgia in their marketing campaigns. But how can you apply this strategy, you're going to ask me. So, if you want to use this strategy for your marketing, your product needs to have a source of nostalgia to exploit. In, let's say, Harry Potter, the games we play with food, Uh, uh, the food we eat and the clothes we put on will bring us back to those old memories. Uh, tapping into memories can be a very eff effective marketing strategy, to be honest, and that makes nostalgia-centric campaigns become successful. Um, When you do, uh, first, of, first of all, you, ha you have to understand your audience, you have to understand their beliefs their old beliefs, their core uh, themes in them. And uh, that's one of the things that you should you should uh, never you should never um, never forget. If you want to if you want to get in that um, if you want to get in that memory strategy, it's very useful but you should be cautious about it. Uh, and the last one thing, the last thing that I want to I, I want to talk about is uh, that Disney are really true to their teams and to their core teams. They when they uh, designed the team, they didn't change it until all of the emotion is passed from that team. Uh, to 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 give you an example. Uh, Uh, besides their actors, autographs for characters are team in an accurate way. Bill's signature in Disney should be looked at the same as signature of Bill of Disney's Tokyo. So the, the two Bill's uh, signatures that are in Disneyland in Paris and the, the one in Disney Tokyo are all the same. Now, uh, it doesn't matter the destination, the place where the venue is or the population that's coming to that, vin to that venue, their team is always the same. Uh, so uh, you could use this uh, uh, strategy in your business too by uh, by communicating with your voice, with your brand voice, and you should uh, you should ensure that your voice will be clear enough through your whole business and through your whole agenda, and never, in any circumstances, change it, despite of the venue or the people or the demographics that that are coming into your uh, into your uh, the uh, to recap all that uh, all that marketing uh, all that marketing uh, strategy for Disney let's uh, talk quickly talk about uh, uh, four major uh, examples of the marketing uh, campaigns in Disney Dream Big Princess campaign uh, that was held in uh, 2017 Uh, it was uh, teamed uh, with Alison Parker and the story of the campaign is something like that. So Disney's Princess has become uh, popular in recent years with Elsa and the other uh, films of Disney with some coming out of stereotyping and anti-quoted roles of most prevailing female characters. In response, Disney has taken actions to bring its princess in a more empowering light, leverage marketing campaigns like its Disney Big Princess. The company includes 19 female photographers from 15 different countries, building positive image of a strong female role model, such as the youngest female to give a speech at the United Nations or surfing champions from Brazil. 
This can also contribute one dollar to the United Nations group up campaign every time one of the images was shared on social networks. The second one will be the Jungle Book reboot. Disney has a fantastic ability to, pro, uh, to promote its films. Uh, the 2016 Jungle Book uh, reboot has a trailer covering the songs like Badoo and many more moody and scary moments. Besides deals, uh, besides deals and videos were generally highlighted the actors that voice that character, approaching other audience and parents in the way triggered a large rejoining appeal that may keep the weeks at the top of the box office. The third one will be the Mickey Mouse Nightwing birthday exhibit. This was, uh, th this was one of the largest uh, events they ever made in Disney. To celebrate the 19th birthday of Mickey Mouse in 2018, Disney, Disney opened a stunning immersive art exhibition in his honor. Located, uh, it was located in the, uh, in the New York uh, City at a 16,000 square feet interactive museum displayed Mickey themed artwork from historic and uh, contemporary artists, some illustration like an ice cream shop and a life-size steamboat. Along with the exhibition, Disney also launched a variety of merchandise collaborations with fashions at footwear brands like Vans Forever 21 and a compulsive collection of its Disney stores. The pop-up avion of Mickey and Dora's population have brought Disney fans a remarkable and highly engaging experience. And uh, last, the fourth one uh, that will close our uh, our list for now is the uh, Disney in the West and pop-up. So, Disney in the West uh, summer pop-up was uh, for all the um, for all the films that were. Um, that were uh, made back, uh, let's say, to, to give it an example, Aladdin, The Lion King, the Lion King uh, that has dominated London's theatres for several years. It was based in London. Uh, it was in the summer of 2018, uh, released a pop-up experience of a, a capital to grow renewed interest in the show. So they're going, uh, they're, they were trying to uh, bring back the, the life in the old movies. The Disney in the West and pop-up experience involve a wide range of free everyday events such as performances from stage, makeup ma master classes, cast members and puppet demo uh, demonstrations. The pop-up uh, enabled new and uh, loyal experience uh, fan base on some uh, on the Disney magical interesting increased expectation for those with tickets and encourage the those with, uh, without tickets going ahead and book one to be with their friends. It was a clever tactic. And uh, to have my final words on that, uh, your brand might not have a similar recognition with uh, brand equity that Disney gains, but you can still get cues, uh, clues for uh, from the marketing stone caused by the, that corporation. Uh, the, uh, the term it, uh, you have to determine what separates you from your com competitors and let your uh, and let uh, it ex inspire your upcoming product release but first really really you have to listen to me about that uh, find your brand voice uh, know your um, demographics know your uh, customers know their values and when you know those four key elements believe me you're going to make an uh, amazing campaigns and brand loyalty. That's all for now. Till next time.